We got a question on YouTube saying, I am running my 11 rack into a power amp and cab, but can't quite find where you switch off the cab and mic. Well, let's go ahead and take care of that question right here, right now. First, we're going to focus here on the 11 rack editor, the standalone editor, and then we will move over to the 11 rack unit and I'll show you how to do the same exact thing. But for the first concepts, I want to use this rich visual interface. So how do we turn off the cab? Well, one option we have is to simply click the word cab. There we go. Now the cab is bypassed. You can also see down here, we can bypass it right here. It does the same exact thing. Now, if I turn off my cab, go to another rig, now the cab's back on. That's because that's how this preset was saved. Okay. And again, we can bypass it just like that. So that is option number one. Next, let's go up here to user options. We'll just click that. And we can see here our two amp position. Now this is going to be very important. I just want to point this out real quick. This is not really what the video is about. I just want to point this out. Our two amp position. And we can see we have one, two, three, four different positions to choose from. We can simply click it and make this go to two amp one. And that will switch over for us, two amp one. And you can see the different positions right here. So rig input, basically anything before the 11 rack. So usually just the clean guitar right here is right before the amp. Okay, so the amp input, here's the amp output, and right here is the rig output, which is the entire signal chain. You can always head over to the 11 rack PDF if you don't understand your signals right there, okay? Head back to the 11 rack editor. I just wanted to point that out. Let's go ahead and put this back over here. And actually, by the way, you can actually right click one of these numbers if it's already on a position, right click it, and you can switch it that way as well. And you can also click and hold and you can adjust your output volume there. Just, that's just sort of an aside. So let's go ahead and move on back to what we were talking about. So right here under amp and cab, of course we have link selection, which basically means whenever you choose an amp, so we'll choose the lux, you'll see my cab will switch with it. Again, not what we're talking about, but I wanna point that out. Next, let's go back to user options. You can see we have this option called cab always off. Okay, now what happens whenever I select this? Well, by the way, right now, let me go ahead and next. these. This is on rig input, this is gonna be on rig output. Let's go ahead and switch both of these to rig output, okay? Now watch, watch what happens. I'm gonna click this button. Now, you can also look at the 11 rack, which we'll switch to in a minute. I'll go ahead and click this. You can see that automatically turns off my cab. And on the 11 rack, you saw it switch over from rig out to rig out no cab. Pretty cool. So now, since we have this selected, if I go to switch rigs, there we go. Even though this rig here, this hate MDRC 3049F, was say with the cab on, because we have this user option selected for cab always off, now that cab will always be off no matter which uh, preset we choose. Even if I choose, uh, say something from the factory. I'm gonna choose something from the factory, cabs off automatically for me. Pretty cool. So there's a couple options there for you to bypass your cabinet, but let's head back here. And I just wanna show one more thing. Actually, what I wanna do is let's say I wanna turn this cabinet back on while I have that setting selected. What happens? I click, I'll just click cab here to turn it on. And now I get a little little pop-up here, a little error. So the master, cabinet bypass is on, would you like to turn it off? And you can choose yes or no. Now, if you choose yes, all that does is deselect that cab always off right there. Okay. Hopefully all of that makes sense. We're going to head over to the 11 rack in a minute, but I wanted to show you this visually. And also let's go ahead and check this PDF just so we can explain it a little bit more before we head over to the 11 rack. You can see we have different kind of outputs for our signal, which we already went over. So the rig input, the amp input, the rig output, the rig out no cab, one we didn't look at is amp output. So if we choose amp output on our 11 rack here, so amp output going to our, uh, you know, our output to amps, that is the signal after passing through the amp emulation, but before the cab mic and any effect emulations placed after the amp and the signal path. Okay, so if you choose amp output, which is this position right here, that is, as you can see, let's go back to it here. That is before the cab mic and any effect emulation is placed after the amp. Okay, so that is another option that you might want to choose. I just want to make sure you're aware of absolutely everything. Okay, and you should definitely check out this PDF because there's some information in here that you will probably want to know. Like, for example, even if we bypass the cabinet, keep in mind that the speaker breakup simulation is always on. So if you don't want any coloration, make sure you take your speaker breakup here and just turn it all the way off, okay? Even if you have your cab bypassed and it's up here, you're gonna get a little bit of coloration. Again, that's even if you just bypass it manually here or if you do cab always off, okay? And by the way, cab always off, 
you also have the option of cabinet resonance, which we're going to look at on the Avid 11 rack here. And of course, rig out no cab. That's the fully processed signal with the cab model automatically bypassed. Okay, so just remember that rig out no cab. That's an option. Amp output. Uh, that's an option because that's uh, before you know before the cab and and mic there. Now let's head over to the 11 rack. We'll check out cabinet resonance. But first, I just want to talk about cabinet resonance. We'll see it on the actual 11 rack. So we have an option for cabinet resonance. Now part of what's captured in the speaker cabinet emulation of the 11 rack is the acoustical nature that a cabinet will resonate when driven by an amplifier. It's a phenomenon particular to the type of amplifier used and the button is gonna be labeled Rezo, which is the SW2 button that will indicate the continued presence of cabinet resonance even when the cabinet is bypassed. Okay, so if the output to amp user options is set to amp output or rig output no cab, the cabinet resonance will still affect the signal feeding the output to amp, so the physical output, you know, either the one on the front or the one on the back. So if the continued presence of cabinet resonance is disengaged by pressing SW2, bypassing the cabinet will also turn off the resonance. Make sense? Okay. If the output to amp user option is set to amp output, the signal feeding the output to amp will not be affected by cabinet resonance. In either case, it is not possible to remove cabinet resonance when the cabinet is not bypassed all right that's really getting deep there you can read this uh you know for yourself so of course by default when the output to amp is set to amp output the signal is fed directly from the amp model to the output when rezo is switched on the signal is fed from the amp model through the cabinet resonance model and then to the output not the cabinet model but the cabinet resonance model okay so depending on the setting this can produce a fatter thicker sound especially with high gain amps okay now we've read about it if you don't understand it just come to the pdf Let's head over to the 11 rack. I'll show you how to do everything we've already done here you know, in our user options and right here just by, let me just hit yes, just by bypassing it. I'll show you how to do all of this on the 11 rack itself. Here we are in front of the 11 rack unit. And the first thing we'll do is bypass the cabinet. So we'll just hit edit back once. We'll scroll over to the cab block using the scroll knob right here. You can see controls, we'll hit SW1. And right now we can bypass it. So there we go. And that of course is reflected in our 11 rack editor on screen. So right there we have bypassed the cabinet and turn it back on. There you go, very easy. So that is how you can bypass your cabinet. You also have two pages here, by the way. So don't forget to turn off your speaker breakup if you wanna bypass the cabinet and have no coloration, all right? There we go. So you can bypass it right there. We'll hit edit back a couple times there. And now we'll look at our user options just as we did in the 11 rack editor look at our user options so we can choose that rig out no cab and that no cab and rezo option so we'll hold for two seconds edit back just hold it pops us into our user options we want right here outputs to amp hit select there we go now we can see right now we have rig output selected we can use our scroll knob there to switch between these two so here we can choose our outputs to amp we of course have rig input amp input amp output and we have that rezo option then we have rig output and rig out no cab. So that is how you choose that. And of course you have your scroll knob there to select output one left and uh, output to right. And then you can turn on that Rezo option right there, the Rezo option that we discussed in the PDF. So right there, those are the same options we saw on the 11 rack editor. Now, one thing to be aware of, if you happen to choose rig out, no cab, we'll just hit edit back a couple times and that will just hit edit back, not hold, just hit it. Go back to that cab block, go back to controls, now you'll see, instead of saying bypass, it says user. That's because we have set up a user setting. Okay, so we can't bypass it because it's already automatically bypassed. So now we can just click SW1 here, and that will take us to our user options there, where you can turn off or turn on the cab because it's, you know it's already off. There you go. And then whenever you go back to your cab block controls, you can bypass it manually. All right, so if you just want the cab off all the time, even if your rig was saved with the cab on, just remember you can go in here to outputs to amps, select and choose your rig out, no cab. All right, pretty cool. Lots of stuff in here in the 11 rackets. You know, it's a really, really interesting uh, interface. A lot of times, you know, you know, a lot of people get confused about some things they're doing because there are so many options within this user options panel here. So definitely take some time to, uh, you know, get used to it, especially this volume control. That's, that's also, that's a very tricky uh, control that a lot of people 
forget about whenever they're trying to control their volume there with their uh, with their knobs. All right. So I believe we have covered absolutely everything that you need to know about how to bypass the cab in the 11 rack. Just remember in the output to amps for our output to amp outputs there, the one on the front and the one on the back, you can choose that output right here. And you can choose something like rig out no cab or say amp output. So right after the amp, split off before the cabinet. And you can also, let's just choose rig out, go back. And you can also just come directly to the cab, go to controls and bypass it manually that way. All right. So that is absolutely everything you need to know about how to bypass the cab with your Avid 11 rack. Now, before I go, I'm going to hop into Pro Tools here and I'll just play a couple samples with the cabinet off and say with like Rezo on or something. Now, I don't have an amp to play through, so it's going to sound pretty bad. OK, but I just want you to know exactly what it sounds like whenever you turn your cab off, because sometimes you might turn your cab off, start to play and go, wow, that sounds horrible. OK, another option you could do. Another thing you could do is if you have something like, say, red wires, which I have, which is, which is an impulse response software, meaning I can use uh, different impulse responses from different cabinets. I could turn off the cab of the 11 rack and use red wires and use the impulse responses there to be my cabinet. So I might do that as well. So just keep in mind, if you happen to turn off your cab and you start playing and it sounds extremely fizzy and distorted, then you probably forgot to turn your cab back on. So just hop in there to those options that we already showed and you can always reset that. All right, let's hop into Pro Tools and we'll end this video. Last thing I want to show you here, since this is everything you need to know about turning off the cab on your Avid 11 rack, I want to show you just from the front panel here, but whatever we do here from the front panel, it will be the same as if we did it from the 11 rack editor. I want to make sure that you understand that even when we change some settings for the output to amp outputs, some of those settings can actually affect our main out as well. So let's go ahead and check that out here. So we'll just hold edit back. We're here to outputs to amp, and then we'll just press SW1 here. So now we can, of course, choose as we've already shown the left or the right, and we can choose different ones for each for each one. Although these settings can indeed uh, be sort of in tandem, uh, which we'll show here in a minute. Now, what you're hearing now is coming through through the mains, okay? All right, so that's coming right through the mains. If I choose amp input, it's not gonna affect that. If we choose amp output, that's not affecting our main signal. I mean, you can hear it switch over, but it's not affecting the tone. Let's go here to rig output. This is where it gets interesting. Again, we're adjusting the outputs to amp, the physical outputs, the one on the back and then the uh, one on the front, okay? But this can actually affect our main outs as well, okay? So here we are on rig output. Now watch what happens whenever I switch this. Actually, let me show you here. On right, we have rig output. On right, let's uh, try to switch this to rig input. Now let's go back up here to rig output. Now watch this. Let's switch it over to rig output, no cab. Again, that's our mains. What you're hearing is, is the mains. So switching over our outputs to amp affected our mains as well. Now I'll show you this here. Let's put both of these. Actually, maybe you heard that click there. Let's put this back on rig out, no cab. And this is on rig out no cab. Now watch what happens whenever I switch either one of these. Now that affected our mains as well as the left output. But look here, it also affected the right output. It switched it to rig output. And we can do the same thing. 
So again, that's coming through our mains. But as soon as I switch this to rig out no cab, and once again, keep in mind, rig output is uh, selected for our left channel as well, our output one. So if I switch e either one of these to rig out no cab, Now it's affecting our mains, it's affecting output two, and it's affecting our output one, our output to amp one. And also, by the way, on the mains, on the mains out, you can actually hear this rezo. Hear that? And once again, if I switch this here, even though we're adjusting the outputs to amp, that's affecting our mains. All right, so I just wanted to point out that while most of the time the 11 rack is indeed outputting the full signal chain, whenever we go to something like rig out no cab, or of course if we bypass the cabinet, um, you know, even just bypassing it manually as we showed earlier, whenever you bypass the cabinet, then the cabinet is bypassed uh, for everything. There is not some parallel or another, uh, you know, signal chain out there that's going to be outputting that cab. So as you can see, even though we're affecting, even though we're adjusting the output to amp uh, ports on the front and the back, as you can tell, whenever we go to rig out no cab, uh, that affects our mains as well as our outputs to amp. So just keep that in mind. Uh, one thing you will notice though, if I switch, say this left, we can switch this left to say rig input, amp input, amp output, and it will it will stay there even if we switch this out to say rig out no cab. You can see when we go back, it's still on amp output. All right, so you might you might want to keep in mind. Just uh, it depends on how you have this all hooked up. Uh, if you're using a power amp, if you're using a guitar amp, whatever, however you like to work, uh, you may find that using that amp output might indeed uh, work for you, especially if you're running your mains somewhere else all right but of course with amp output you're not going to get your full signal chain you know unless of course everything is before the amp in the signal chain all right so a lot to take in there i just wanted to make sure that you were aware uh you know if you switch to rig output that's going to put both of these on rig output or rig out no cab they'll both switch to rig out no cab all right if they're on rig output or rig output no cab you should be okay if you're having it something you know on something other other than that but as we can see if i switch this one to rig output and play again you're hearing the mains and even though i switch the output to amps to no cab that affects everything it's affecting our mains and both output to amp ports and of course the headphones and you know anything else you can split off of there all right so just keep all of that all of that in mind but now you should have the power to set up your 11 rack just the way you want with any sort of external gear splitting off the sound exactly where you want and keeping in mind that if we're bypassing that cabinet no matter how we're bypassing it whether it's you know in our user options or maybe we're bypassing it manually that you are bypassing it for everything all right so pretty cool pretty cool what you can do with your avid 11 rack that was everything you need to know about how to bypass the cabinet with your avid 11 rack